it going everyone? It is Liam Catterson here with another episode of True Calling. We're on episode number four. I'm loving this show so far. Um, last episode was pretty great. Uh, we had Maria Hill, um, if she joined Hydra, basically, with the last episode. No, it was quite a game of tennis in terms of who to suspect. Um, but it was a really, really great episode. Uh, loved the focus on uh, True's brother, uh, Harrison, and uh, yeah, the kind of kerfuffle that he was embroiled with so yeah but um looking forward to getting into this episode so why don't we get into episode number four of true calling season one let's go but as of tonight we are free men the scenery may change but our friendship won't forest the best night of our lives <laughs> forest from buffy Great! <laughs> oh, great! It's always about someone's mother. Maybe you should just try and leave the past alone. I can't. Yeah, she's got Is no choice in the matter. Yeah. But, you know, Harrison's got a point as well. Barry Allen could learn a few things. Leave the past alone, Barry! You are a dick! My heart left my soul there! My body, should I say? I don't care. It was not, not cool. I've seen the look on her face. Hysterical. I mean, do you think I take everything too seriously? Cardes sees dead bodies. You see the people they used to be. He doesn't understand that. Very deep. Still, that prank was not on. I'll get to you. Fuck. Oh, actually, we're all being tested. Liability issue. Yeah, we know you, what you're doing, Meredith. Checking at the table in front of the restrooms. Yeah, sure. Well, I hope uh, you're able to find someone's sample and swap your names around if that <laughs> this won't work, but still. <laughs> was it those? I was making friends. I was gonna say, was it those guys that were partying in the first scene? Is there anything you want to say to me? Oh, I suck. Oh, I was joking when I said happy birthday. Now Hello? it just. Oy. Really? No. But Davis, this is Luke. Yeah, we met. With earlier. a C. I got lost on my way to the interview. Thanks for the directions. Well, um, I'm sure Gardez will be back I've soon. Never so I've never seen that uh, um, way of spelling before. Oh. Yeah, it's a new okay. one for me. Yeah. Help me. Save us. It's all of them. This is... You know, you're trying to get used to this, and this is creepy. All five of them. By the way, that turquoise girl you're looking for? Her real name's Tara. She's got a day job doing telemarketing in a Hancock building. No way. Well, at least you got some information. Come on, truth. You know I got away with the ladies. My friend here told me everything. Harrison, <laughs> thank you. Seriously, I'll call you later, okay? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. 12. It's called for 7 o'clock, but the entertainment doesn't usually get here until after dark. Why does everyone think I look like a stripper? Yeah, why? It's why? It's a bachelor party. Who else would you be? Right, good point. So, what the heck? You don't know what to expect. Is there anyone else without the victim's knowledge? In a liquid, yes. We would victim. Is there any way to tell Spiked. if someone has Avalocardo in their system? Well, not right away, but after two or three hours, sure. How? Shit. Be dead. Yeah. I think there's something in the drinks. It's the only thing that makes sense. So I have to replace. Don't take it too hard when I tell you to kiss my Meredith. True, you have three wow, looks. One rude. is that you heard from Harrison. Two is I miss mom. And three is are you clean, Meredith? And judging by the downcast. I mean, eyes, it's called concern, but go off. I'm clean, true. My last slip up was over a month ago. Sure, Jan. Past God, leave it there. Somebody here doesn't die. 
Let's say you're not crazy. So the six guy did it? No, I never saw any of their faces. It means any one of them could have Yeah, it is a, it is a really... They didn't come in dead. That's the killer. Uh-huh. Looks like we got a game of Among Us, folks. <laughs> Who's the imposter? I'll be sure to tell your manager thanks. No problem. Better yet. Why don't you give me his name? I'd like to do it myself. Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna become Actually, a problem. He's probably home with the wife and kids by now. But if I do my job right, I'll make sure he finds you first thing in the morning. It's not Riley, okay? I know for Riley is a big thing, but come on. Awkward. Hello, boys. And the oh. here. how I dealt with things. But I don't want to bring everybody down, you know. I'd rather keep it quiet. No traces of alcohol in the system. I was gonna say. That'll be our little secret. Thanks. Cheers. So you can cross him off. Could be. Just tell him. Hey, hey. Excuse me. Hey. You may want to check your teeth. <laughs> He's just like, what the. F <laughs> oh, bad. What about alcohol? How does it react with Abacardo? Well, it wouldn't. Alcohol acts as a masking agent covering all... You guys haven't seen each other since college, right? Come on. And shouldn't this be one big happy reunion? Right. Everyone says they're the best years of your life. Well, it wasn't for me. <laughs> way. I mean, maybe some of these guys can deal with what happened, but... What? Wait, the body? Back in college? We didn't even know her name. Yeah, the body that we saw in the beginning. The girl from the video? Hey, buddy. Hey. That's hey. why... Hey, yeah, that's why he reacted. Watch your lap dance. Oh, my God. I think there's something in the drinks. Avocado with soluble in water. Of course. Yes. It's of course. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
wanted to see me? Close the door. Thanks for covering that for me. Holy shit! I've been paid to provide a sample before. Good one. I just spent an entire evening with six guys that were bad. So does that make you number seven? <laughs> what? Beats! Hey, it beats. Don't worry, true. What happened last episode? Chance for true as well. Like, no. come on. No, not yet. Not yet. See, there's hope. There is, there is a, there is a chance. Let's go. There's, there's a transfer. There's a chance for Harry. There's a chance for true. You know, there's a chance for everyone. Even this hopeless idiot who managed to get himself with someone and that relationship is still going strong. <laughs> um, no, but that was very, very intriguing in terms of um, this guessing game. Um, it was more so like figuring out who of these um, six people has it in them. Well, seven, really. Um, you know, um, one out of seven guys, um, that they mentioned, well, it was one out of seven people, really, because I was even suspecting that it could have been, um, Tara, but, you know, so, seven is, uh, the number of the day, really, isn't it? And seven's my favourite number, so... It was such an interesting episode that felt a little bit different, uh, I would say, uh, from other episodes, especially since we were trying to deduce who was the one to uh, kill the rest of uh, the people. And I really love the idea that you have um, the message that um, Lindsay said that one out of seven guys are good, one out of seven people were bad because of the fact that um, we had that moment where uh, Tara joined into the fray with um, six people there. And uh, initially, um, it was um, an idea of figuring out who was going to be the killer. Um, and then um, my mind was suspecting Tara could somehow be involved. And there was a moment where True uh, was thinking uh, that Tara was um, about to put the poison in the drinks, but alas, not the case. So yeah, instead she was just trying to steal um, some um, juicy wallets. So yeah, no, but um, it was really, really interesting to see what, uh, what would happen. Um, and yeah, just this, um, I guess... Who's the imposter amongst us? So, yeah, uh, that played out. So, yeah, I had a feeling that uh, Blake would be a red herring. Uh, but I just find it funny that his character was just bringing back flashbacks to Forrest from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, um, and it, w it was just like a spitting image because he had that arrogance with him, although he was being a bit cautious uh but during the episode you were just thinking there's such arrogance there but um obviously with the fact that um there was that um there was that death that we saw in the first scene um he was so so um hesitant in regards to what was going to happen and uh um, yeah, because he sent that letter, although he didn't sign the signature, and uh, he was be he was watching his corners, basically. And not just that, though, but the idea of, um, of John murdering that woman in the beginning, it was just eating him alive. Um, and, yeah, so... Um, he had, I, I, I would say he had every right to be suspicious in regards to, um, true. So, yeah, but, um, during the episode, I was just like, oh, this is bringing back some memories. So, yeah, but, um, we had a very, very interesting, I, I was wondering, um, what was going to happen with the first scene with, uh, the woman on the floor, because they left, the, you had the party going on and you, you were left with that, but. Yeah, we found we found out that uh, um, yeah we found out that John wasn't just um, the one to kill her, but was very very abusive. So yeah, and uh, 
uh, in order to because because of Blake not um, putting the signature there, he wanted to cover all his tracks and decided to off everyone, nearly killing himself there. So, yeah. Um, and I just really loved that. He went for the antidote and uh, everyone was just standing outside. Um, so, yeah, but um, yeah, it was it was a very, very interesting scenario. And like I said, this episode had a little bit of difference in regards to um, how... Uh, the past three episodes have uh, have been so far um, because when we um, uh, reversed time, I guess we had no idea who was in um, who was in the morgue as well. So it really left this mystique about who was the one that got away and um, uh, who died. And you you had True who did a very very nice uh, solution in order of nicknaming them and uh, crossing off names on um, who who did die. Um, so yeah, but yeah, very, very interesting, um, stuff in this episode. So yeah, but, but, um, yeah, I really thought this was, um, nice, this murder mystery that we had and, uh, um, yeah, just figure, uh, just trying to figure out what was going to be happening. And, uh, um, there's this panic, um, True kept calling Davis and Davis, uh, yeah, um, not too pleased in regards to, um, in, in regards to what, uh, True did, but I am really won uh, wondering, um, what's going to happen in regards to how long is it going to be until he finds out? Because I suspect that it's going to be very, very soon. It surely has to be soon. I expect Meredith is going to be one of the last ones to know. Maybe Lindsay. But <clears throat> we had in this episode Harrison just still trying to get to grasp with um, what True is able to do. And uh, it's all it's all still con uh, a confuddling aspect for him. But um, it is really, really nice to see. I do love that dynamic of Harrison coming to terms in, terms, uh, in, in regards to... Um, what True can do and he's just trying to wrap his head around the whole situation but it is really really nice to see and like I said in the last episode it makes sense given the support he has had with True in comparison to Meredith who um is uh, who you know had us well she saved her skin I would say I mean True did in a sense but because of True's warning, she decided to tip off that guy and uh, uh, have her pass with flying colours, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, Meredith is a bit, uh, as we saw um, after the uh, tests were completed, um, she had some very, very choice words with her. So, yeah, but... Uh, but... I am really, really curious on when Davis is going to find out. So, but it has to be very, very soon, especially with the fact that he said that one day I hope you could be honest with me. And it's only a matter of time, surely, especially with him working at the morgue. So, and all of these questions that True is throwing at him, like there has to be a point where you're just going to have to tell him. Uh, and it has to be very, very soon, surely. I mean, I can't... I can't imagine them dragging this out for too long in regards to Davis. I can do so with with Meredith and Lindsay uh, if she ever finds out. I don't think Lindsay will find out, but Meredith has to surely know. Um, and whereas Harrison's a bit more calmer about the whole situation, Meredith is going to just... Um, I can't see Meredith being um, so accepting. So, um, especially since the very first scene in the first episode kind of, for me, gives a little bit of a tease in regards to what's going to uh, happen once Meredith inevitably does find out. So, yeah, but um, it was really, really great. Um, it was a very enjoyable episode because I was trying to figure out um, um, what was um, going to happen and uh, not just that though but just enjoying the similarities and not just um, that to um, uh, well from Blake to Forrest but also just the idea of Faith. We had Faith and Callisto in the first episode. We have Forrest and Faith in this episode so and obviously they didn't meet then um, even though they're from the same franchise but still. Um, 
Yeah, it was just very, very, uh, it was just a very, very intriguing episode and uh, one that um, is pretty, pretty sad in regards to um, everyone having to hold in this uh, kind of secret. And, um, well, um, there was, there was that uh, denial, etc. But at the end of the day, um, they had agreed not to say anything they they kept this and it was eating them alive and uh it was just very very interesting to have this plot where you had john who wanted to um who yeah wanted to uh and everyone to just cover his uh trails like uh anyone could have been um the one threatening him in regards to um unveiling on this um uh, secret so yeah instead of uh uh, instead of doing the right thing, confessing, etc., he decided, let's kill them all. So, yeah. Um, which I think would have impacted... Uh, uh, well, um, no, I don't think it would have impacted Tara. So, yeah, but... Because um, she bolted and... Yeah, so... And there was only five bodies in the morgue. So, yeah, not uh, not Tara. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, really, really uh, intriguing episode. I do suspect there might be something with uh, True and Luke in the future. I'm not sure where they're going to go with that. I'm just trying to think in regards to what she said, um, like how she kind of reacted to Nick in um, episode two because of the fact that um, there was this bout of um, worries where she worried about getting attached to him and uh i feel like there can be a possibility that true and luke can you know potentially uh if luke's gonna appear again which i'm assuming so i feel like this episode is kind of setting things up in terms of hey well luke's gonna be uh, a character that appears every now and again so yeah um that's the vibe i got with luke uh, i can imagine i can imagine true and luke maybe trying something we'll just have to wait and see but um like i said i feel like this was more of a setup for luke's character interestingly enough i've never known um a luke uh to have this uh the c in it in, in the name it's always been l-u-k-e not uh luke with a c so um i, w I was just scratching my head like Luke with a C. Never heard of that before. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, this was a pretty interesting murder mystery that we had. Um, and like I said, an episode that felt a little bit different, but was still very intriguing to check out. So, yeah. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles!